is RDR's UFC career over before it's even begun? But it actually just comes down to one thing, RDR's cardio. He pretty much gave up in his fight against Malikin. He lost to Ty Rotolo in submission grappling and then to Malikin again. What other fighters in one could go to the UFC? I've got one in mind. I think it could be Rainier de Ritter has left one championship and signed with the UFC. I've got a few questions and I'm sure you do as well. Questions like, did the UFC make a mistake? Why did RDR leave one? Will Rainier de Ritter get his ass kicked in the UFC or will he kick some ass? And most importantly, who else from one is gonna be leaving for the UFC? I've got some answers, some guesses to all those questions coming right up, so let's get into it. Easy question first, why did RDR leave one championship? Well, the simple answer is there was nothing left for him in one. He had pretty much beat all the fighters in his division and did so decisively. He beat Vitaly Big Dash, Ang Lang Un Song, and Fan Rong all in round one with a submission. So RDR had the light heavyweight championship and the middleweight championship belts, but he lost both those belts to Anatoly Malikin, who is one of the best fighters in the world right now. In fact, some people say he is the best fighter in the world. RDR also had a submission grappling match against Ty Rotolo and lost that. So there really was nothing left for him in one. He'd beaten the opponents in his division. He'd lost two championship belts, both to the same guy. There was nothing left for him in one. And given how decisive Malikin's victories over RDR were, there was no chance of him ever winning back those belts. So the next question, did the UFC make a huge mistake in signing RDR? Actually, no, they didn't. This was a pretty smart move, and I'll tell you why. You see, RDR is just a pawn in a chess match between one and the UFC. If in his first match against GM3 in November, RDR loses, people will look at one championship and think, wow, their fighters are soft. If RDR wins his first MMA match in the UFC against GM3, and if RDR goes on to be successful and fights top ranked middleweights and beats them in the UFC, it's gonna look like a brilliant move taking him away from one championship. So actually, no matter what happens, the UFC comes out ahead in these scenarios. The worst that can happen is that RDR doesn't win his first few matches and people say, oh, it was just a bad move and he'll be forgotten. So now the question becomes, will Rainier de Ritter kick some ass in the UFC or will he get his ass handed to him? Well, he's going up against Gerald Mearshart, who has the most middleweight finishes in UFC history. And this should be a very interesting match because both these guys rely heavily on submissions and grappling in their ground game. So the fight could go to the ground very quickly or they could both keep it standing and just trade strikes. Now I could try to analyze this fight, who has the better striking, who has the better ground game, the better fight IQ, wrestling, whatever. But it actually just comes down to really one thing and one thing only, and that's RDR's cardio and stamina. He pretty much gave up in his fight against Malikin. Look at how that fight ended. Then, just after leaving one championship, RDR fought in UAE Warriors 51. He won, he got a technical knockout against his opponent, but look how he celebrated. Look how he finished this fight. This does not look like a guy with great stamina. Remember that he had just lost three matches in a row, his only three. He lost to Malikin, he lost to Ty Rotolo in submission grappling, and then to Malikin again. You would think if he just won a match, he'd be pretty excited, but instead he looks gassed and he was the one who won the fight. To me, the big question is, does RDR have enough endurance for this fight? If I had to predict how this is gonna go, I would say that GM3 is going to get a knockout. Yeah, RDR is very good. He's 17 and two in his MMA record, but Gerald Mearshart has more wins by submission than RDR has matches in his entire career. He's got way more experience, and I think he's gonna find a way to knock out RDR. But what do you guys think? Is RDR's UFC career over before it's even begun? Was this a smart move by UFC? Drop a comment down below. Tell me if you think I'm wrong. Tell me if you think I'm right. Curious to know your guys' thoughts. But lastly, question that's probably on everyone's mind is what other fighters in one could go to the UFC? I've got one in mind. I think it could be Gary Tonin. If you look at One Championship's website, Gary's been booted from the rankings. I think he used to be, you know, number one ranked, number two ranked, somewhere up there. He's no longer on there. Now he still is on their website but he had posted a tweet about wanting to talk about one championship's organization and he quickly took that down. So my suspicion is Gary Tonin could be lured away from one. Maybe, you know, UFC will buy out his one contract or maybe it's gonna expire soon and he'll sign up. I don't know, but it, it all seems like 
he would be a great steal for the USC. So thank you so much for watching. Really curious. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Also, if you stayed this far, you might as well give this video a like and subscribe. There's going to be a lot more content coming this way. The likes help out a lot. Appreciate it and see ya.